Okay guys, so I just finished watching today's lesson from Seth Digital Marketing course and the title of that lesson was the job, the careers in digital marketing. So in that lesson, Seth mentioned that there are more digital marketing jobs than applicants. So that's why this career is so in demand because there are more jobs than applicants. Not a lot of people know about this industry. Not a, not a lot of people know about these jobs. And not a lot of people have the skills to do this job because they don't teach you this in college. So that's why there's more jobs than applicants. Digital marketing is something that it's new. It all came due to the internet, Google, and social media. So it's pretty new. So in this lesson, Seth mentioned that your first job is going to be to get the experience. And then once you have the net one year of experience you move on to your next job and on that job you're gonna make sixty thousand at least that's the goal to make sixty thousand dollars on the on your next job so something that employers are looking for in candidates is they're looking for people that are passionate and people that are willing to learn so that's something that you need to mention on your job on your job interview mention that you're really passionate about digital marketing and you're passionate about helping businesses generate more leads sales and get more clients and mention that you're willing to learn that this is an industry that has a lot, of, a lot of opportunity for growth and that you are willing to learn and employers also they are willing to train you so that's a good thing about this field is that they're willing to train you and hire you with the amount of experience that you have so the goal of your first job and the goal of the course is to get experience. That's the goal. So Seth mentioned that it's important to learn all the aspects of digital marketing. So that's PPC, SEO, social media, and email marketing. So when it comes down to degree, if you need a degree or, or not, Seth mentioned that it's preferred and some company will mention that it's required but they're just saying that because they're used to saying that but they don't really it's not really a requirement a degree and i sort of agree because i i seen two people in linkedin commenting about the culture of so of digital marketing and they mentioned how they have master's degree and they their co-workers they don't even have a degree so I think that's true to an extent. So PPC, the average salary for PPC is 65K to 85K. To me, I think that you should take anything. You should take your first job offer. You should take it either if it is 35,000, 40,000, just take it. The goal is to get a job. You might be you might be interviewing with another company that's gonna pay you more and you think you can also get that job, but just take the first job offer you receive. Don't make that mistake of not taking the job offer because you think you get something better down the line. You never know. So SEO and SEM. SEM is search engine search engine marketing, which also means PPC, pay-per-click it overlaps so it means that they they go related the, you might get a job in, as a PPC specialist but you might need to know SEO so another thing you need to learn when you're dealing with SEO is you need to work on your landing page landing page is the first page that a customer goes into in your website so the meaning of landing page basically is, is the website good? Is, is it a good landing page? So another thing is within this industry is because there's a lot of opportunity out there, employers are willing to re relocate. So let's say I live in New York, I can apply to a job in Florida and they might be willing to um, help me out and you know contribute in order for me to move over there. 
So that's a good thing about this industry and you might need to do that if you really want to get a job you might need to consider relocating and in SEM which means PPC like I said the skills that you're gonna learn are gonna be building and optimizing AdWords account you're gonna learn about keyword research you're gonna learn about bid management analytics a B split test testing writing ad copies remarketing so Seth he was just going over the job and the skills that you need in order to go to do the job and the salary so all these that I mentioned he gonna go into depth in the training so in SEO the job the salary range is 54k to 98k like I said to me I feel this is once you have one year of experience so in SEO, in the job, what you're going to be working on is you're going to be doing keyword research. You're going to be doing on-site and off-site SEO. You're not understanding probably this, but um, as the course go on, you start to learn it. And also, I'm going to be, you know, like I'm doing now, I'm going to be making short videos of what I learned on Seth course. But he's better than me explaining and it will be easier for you to understand them if you actually get the course. And another thing is that this video is going to probably be like 8 minutes. And Seth course, like this lesson that I took, it was 30 minutes. So it was a lot of value and a lot of information. So in social media, the job. One of the titles that you can apply um, in social media is one of your titles could be social media manager. It's Social media is all about strategy. You can also be a social media specialist. So those are the jobs that you're gonna be applying for. And the salary for this one, it could be anything from 32,000 to 42,000. And this is mainly like, you know, posting on Facebook and Instagram and, you know, um, building a following. So that's what you will be doing. So email marketing, Seth mentioned that there's not too many jobs in email marketing, but you know, it's also related to digital marketing, so you should learn about it. So at the end, Seth said that uh, at the end of the course uh, of this lesson, Seth said that your goal is to in within three years get a job as a digital digital marketing manager. So a digital marketing manager oversees all aspects of digital marketing that means that you're in charge of PPC SEO social media and email marketing and your salary range will be anything from a hundred thousand to a hundred and thirty thousand so that's the end goal and to be honest um, one something that Seth mentioned is that some people they they're in a field for like 10 years and they end up making eighty thousand in digital marketing with without a master's degree that's really good be making a hundred thousand in three years and I, I really think that's possible and the beauty of it is that you don't need a master's degree a lot of jobs in order to move on you need a master's degree so he also in, in that lesson he also we looked at some job posting and we went over the requirements and all that so Seth also, Seth also mentioned that agency, they're really casual and the culture is really laid back and you don't have to dress professional or none of that. So that's all I learned in this lesson from Seth Digital Marketing course. Subscribe to the channel if you want to follow my journey. Uh, if you like this video and you learned something about digital marketing, leave a like. If, you have any feedbacks if you want to share anything that you know about digital marketing make sure to leave a comment and i'll see you on the next video